If you want to know how to ask for the bill in German, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna give you examples in German with their translations so you can learn how to impress all of the bar and waiting staff with your knowledge of the German language. None of these sentences are super difficult and with a little bit of practice and maybe watching this video a couple of times, you will definitely master in saying all of these words and sentences. I've been living in Germany for more than 20 years. I'm British and if I can learn these things, you can definitely learn them too. Now, before we move on to the first point, I just want to quickly welcome all of my new subscribers that I've received over the past months and also say thank you very much for all of the support that you have given my channel. It is awesome, so please keep it up. So now that we've got the introduction and all the other stuff out the way, it's time to move on to learn how to ask for the bill in German. Let's get started. In the UK, when you've finished your meal, it's quite simple. All you've got to say is like, check please, or can I have the bill please, or we would like to pay now. This is what we're gonna learn now, and it is really super simple. There are a few different various ways that you can do it, and we're gonna go over all of them. In a bar and restaurant, there's three common ways that you can politely ask for the bill. The first one in English is then like, check please. In German, it would be then, die Rechnung Bitter. So die Rechnung, Rechnung is invoice or bill, and bitter is please. So all you have to do is make eye contact or something like that with your waiting staff and say die Rechnung bitter. So the second way is a little bit more polite and said in a completely different way. And this way you say ich musste zahlen bitter. Now we already heard bitter means please, ich Musta means I would like, zahlen is to pay, and bitter once again, please. So you would say, ich musta zahlen bitter. Or you can say, die Rechnung bitter. So the third way is super formal. If you feel that you do not want to be impolite and you want to make sure you are very formal, then this is definitely the way to do it and the most polite way of doing it as well. So it is, können Sie mir Bitter die Rechnung bringen. So let's split it down now into smaller pieces. So können Sie is basically saying can you. Mir is then me. Bitter is please. Die Rechnung, as we heard already, the bill, the invoice. Bringen is then to bring. So can you please bring me the bill? Now. Let's just say the bar or waiting staff is called Julie to make this super easy. So you made eye contact with Julie and you say, Julie, wir mussten zahlen bitter. In this situation I said, wir mussten zahlen bitter. Wir mussten is we would like to pay please, okay? And uh, Julie comes over and then she'll either say, because she's like, got to know you now, zusammen oder getrennt. The two words here which you need to know are zusammen, and getrennt. Zusammen means all together, and getrennt means separately. And the other one was order, which means or. So zusammen, order, getrennt. Now it can be also that she uses a full sentence and says, Mussten Sie zusammen oder getrennt zahlen? So, Mussten Sie zusammen oder getrennt zahlen? In this situation, she's saying, Mussten Sie, would you like this very formal? Zusammen oder getrennt. You would then respond with this either zusammen if you want to pay all together or if you didn't want to pay all together and you wanted to pay separately you would say getrennt. Now a quick point to note about getrennt, to pay separately in Germany. This is a super normal thing. So let's just say that there's five friends going out to a restaurant and they're all going to pay separately. Julie would come over and say yeah, zusammen oder getrennt and they would then answer Getrennt, bitter. Julie would then go to each person, work out what they have ordered, and normally it's on a trust level as well. So they say, what did you have? I had the burger and chips and then a Coke. And she would then say, that's 13 euros 50, please. So the first person, for example, has to pay 13 euros 50. Now they don't want to give a tip, so they would then give 15 euros over. Julie would then take the 15 euros, place it into her purse, her pot money, and take out one euro 50 and give it back. Now, if this first person wanted to give a tip of say 50 cents, they might pay with a 10 euro and a 5 euro note still and say 14, so 14. 
This would indicate to Julie that she can take a 50 cent tip here and needs to give one euro in return. So if they wanted to give 15 euros and tell Julie that she can keep the change, they would then say, stimmt so. Stimmt so in English means keep the change. So if you do do this and you do give money over and you don't say stimmt so, then this means that Julie then needs to give you your money back. Now, if your bill is like 15 euros and you pay with a 50 euro note and you go stimmt so, then Julie's gonna jump up and down with joy, spin around in a circle, say thank you very much, and then she's gonna go off and buy her Ferrari. No, that's just kidding. There's no Ferrari that costs 35 euros. Now, it's also very likely that Julie would go, uh, excuse me, 35 euro tip, that's a bit too much, are you sure? But essentially, if you give a 50 euro note and say stimmt so, there's a likelihood she'd just say danke schön. And that'll be it because you said stimmt so. So make sure when you say stimmt so, you actually mean it because that is what it means. It's like saying keep the change. Or in a poker game, it's like saying all in. You can keep everything, all right? So be aware what that means. Now, if I didn't mention already, I can't quite remember, but tip in German means Trinkgeld. Trinkgeld is tip. So just a quick side note here, Germany does not have any service charges. Now it can be if you go to like a bar or restaurant with a big group and it is then booked that you're gonna go there. It can be that they tell you that you have to pay a service charge for this, for like a specific area of the bar and restaurants being used, but otherwise there is no service charge. So if you do go to a bar or restaurant and you go there as a group or family and one person is going to be paying for all of the food and drinks and the bar and waiting staff come over and say, Mushten Sie zusammen oder getrennt zahlen? Then one person would probably put their hand up and say, Ich zahle für alles, which means I'm paying for everything. So that means that they are the person that will be paying. You can say, Ich zahle für alles. Ich zahle is I'll pay, I will pay essentially. Für is for, alles is everything. So this is a good sentence for you to learn that if you are head of the family or something like that and you are in Germany and you want to then make payment and you want to practice your German, when they do come over, you can say Ich zahle für alles. So let's just recap now. You go into a restaurant and you've sat down to eat your food and you then want to pay. You can either say Die Rechnung bitte, ich möchte zahlen or können Sie mir bitte die Rechnung bringen? When Julie does come over, she'll either say zusammen oder getrennt, or she'll say mussten sie zusammen oder getrennt zahlen. You would then answer either zusammen oder getrennt, or if you just want to pay everything, you say ich zahle für alles. And if you do want to tell her that she can keep the change, then you would say stimmt so. And the final thing is obviously to be able to say goodbye, and then you can say tschüss, guten Abend, bis nächstes Mal, bis nächstes Mal means until next time. I do hope that you've got something out of this video. This is the first video where I've done kind of like explicit translations and it's about how to say different words. Other videos I've done for fun and so on, but this video is more um, serious about teaching you how to say different sentences. If you did like this video, I'd be super grateful for a thumbs up. Now, if you didn't like it, please give me a dislike as well. But it would be really helpful if you could write why in the comment section below, because I really would love to learn from the things that you didn't like so I can improve them for the next video. Now, if you are interested in watching any other videos that I have made about living in Germany or the way of life here, then I'll leave a link in the video description below so you can check out my channel and all of my videos. Now, if you want to be notified of any videos that I do make in the future, then why not think about tapping the subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified when I release any videos. If not, don't worry about it. I'm pretty positive that YouTube is gonna display some of the videos to you anyway on your homepage. So when you do see my face, make sure you click on it and check it out. And if it's a programming video and that's not something for you, then just scroll on, it's also fine. So there's only really one thing left to say. If you have watched any of my other videos and you've watched all the way through to the end, it's normal that I say uh, blondie, curly fries, see you soon.
Who is Blondie and Curly Fries? Well, Curly Fries is my partner and Blondie is her best friend. Blondie and Curly Fries, they tend to give me like feedback about how the video was, what they did like, what they didn't like, what things I should do in the future and so on. And their friends tend to like give them feedback also um, to, to talk about what they did and didn't like too. So they're really important to me and also other people that have asked them, who is Blondie, Curly Fries? Um, thank you very much too for watching all the way through to the end. It means a lot to me and I hope that you did like this video and I hope that you liked all of my other videos uh, too. It's really nice to hear the feedback that I've heard uh, from you too. All right, that's me finished now. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.